as we discussed at the budget hearing on April 27th. Is fixing a roll uh, a TIF eligible expense, uh, Mr. Engineer? It is a TIF eligible expense. Then, however, then why are you saying you shouldn't do it? However, you our, have a project over there? However, <coughs> our TIF fund <coughs> is rapidly being depleted of money, and we have nothing. It can't be rapidly with, being depleted of money when you keep telling nobody you're not going to give them any money. You've got people just trying to get to the money, and you shut it down. No, I haven't. I, I have. have. I have not. I yes, voted to approve both the resolution and the uh, ordinance and the ordinance for uh, Are You Daddy? And the you one still for got money left over. And for Are You Daddy? And, so, and I supported those. And there are no other projects on Roosevelt Road right now. And when I brought up at the budget hearing but you've got that we have limited resources, we were getting up to a mil almost a million dollars a year in that TIF fund at the peak. However, property values have gone down. We have nothing to show for it. No other developments other than the checkers to improve this and half the checkers property is municipal property so that doesn't even improve improve the eap so we have limited resources and only a few years left in this tip exactly that that money should be spent on trying to draw businesses into roosevelt road trust me and, uh, you know i'm of the mindset of a bird in hand i'm not trying to figure out how to spend No, money actually what you about. said at the budget hearing is nobody wants to come to Roosevelt. That's not what and I said. And I am not ready to give up on Roosevelt. That's Park. not what I see. That is exactly That's not what I said. Now you're lying on me. And I got a problem with that because I did not say nobody wants to come to Roosevelt. Yes, Park. you did. You are lying. Yes, you did. You are lying. Yes, you did. I was there. I did Thank not you. say nobody wants to come to Roosevelt. There was one resident who came to that meeting. It was Mrs. Red, was Ms. Redmond, and she just said, yes, you did. That's, that's an ace boom cool. I, I got that. That's but, what? But, but, but at any rate, you said that's what, you, but what you got right now in front of you is a resolution that's to right. do these things. And, and what, I'm say, what I'm saying is that I, I have no problem with hiring Hancock to do the engineering work. I would just like us to establish what work is going to be done. He's already told you what work was going to be done. We've always left it up to the engineer to go out there and do an assessment of the streets that are in the worst condition. Well, with all due respect, Mayor, Mr. Jo uh, Mayor Jones, you have left an awful lot of stuff up to other people over the years. That's their job. That's their profession. It's what they do. Yes. I'm, I'm not going to be like you and, and try to tell an engineer how to do engineering. I'm not trying to sidestep. I'm not going to walk into reason, a, a court and tell the judge that's how to the reason that I'm I, not doing it. That's the reason that I started out about three, four weeks ago reaching out to our village engineers. You didn't reach out to them. You went out and directed them. And no, I didn't. Well, obviously, I didn't direct them to do anything. They haven't made any changes to this. I reached out to them and said, "This is my thoughts on this. What do you think?" And obviously, are your, these thoughts, numbers, your thoughts didn't go too far. Are yeah. these are these numbers? Do these numbers reflect, you know, my estimate of what the cost would be on the rest of this and making sense and all that? They were given a certain parameter of what to do. If we expand that parameter, we can do this. Now, whether or not you want to do the alleys on top of it, I don't believe that it would be necessary. I'm not trying to make the decision. You're an obstructionist. You make this I would like for us to have answer. discussions about this. Well, obviously, and you, you want us to be quiet. And I'm not asking you to be quiet, quiet because you're not going to be quiet. So I, I've stopped asking to do that. But if you made a recommendation or suggestion to the engineers, <laughs> and what they sent back did not reflect your suggestions, obviously your suggestions felt, you know, were, were not considered or, or did not fit the program. That's their job. That otherwise, we need not hire them. We should just ignore Hancock Engineering and go out there and point to any 10 streets we want and just have them done. <coughs> there will be no need for Hancock to go out there and do an assessment. Actually, I disagree with your assessment of what took place. I reached out to them and asked them what they thought of, the, of my proposal. However, they, there was no reason for them to take any other action because the board hadn't taken any action. I would have thought that there would be some discussion among the board members and have an opportunity for us to weigh out our options and then decide what street project to be done. You've got a proposal in front of you that was presented by the village engineers. It's got streets and it's got alleys. And that's, and that's and what we can, and and we they, can do they so much determined more. that by going out there doing an assessment. We can do so much more than this. We don't but have to do But you're not doing more. You're taking stuff there. out and putting other stuff in. You didn't just add. It would be different if you just add, but you removed alleys and added streets. <coughs> you just, like I said, you moved the furniture from one room to another. 
I moved the bed back into the bedroom. Okay. So obviously it was in the wrong spot. I don't have another hour to give you the yeah. truck key to debate this one item. Exactly. Moving on. No, I want to hear. She's still talking. Let, let her finish her thoughts. Trust me, Marina. Carry on. I will simply sum it up by saying that I think it's premature to approve this, and I would prefer that we be able to have a discussion about what street project to actually have for this year. Trustee Lilly. Trustee Turner. No comment. Trustee Rue. No comment. Trustee Healy. No comment. Okay. Well, if you got a project, does the clerk have a vote? Trustee Healy. Yes. Trustee Brewer. Yes. Trustee Turner. Yes. Trustee Curtis. Yes. Trustee Lilly. Yes. Trustee Brown. No. Motion carries.
All right, aye. Resolution reaffirming the terms and conditions of the resolution regarding the provision of emergency and other repair services to the village's infrastructure for the village of Broadview County, Clark State of Illinois, uh, parentheses, hereafter the emergency resolution um, and to censor the actions of the village president, a.k.a. mayor. Second. Motion to deny by Trustee Little, who second by Trustee Turner. Uh, Mr. Uh, comments from the members of the board, Trustee Judy Brown Marino. Wouldn't matter. None. Trustee Bill? No. Trustee Turner? No. Trustee Bill? No. Trustee Ely? No. Who's that Bill? Trustee Ely? Yeah. Trustee Brewer? Yeah. Trustee Turner? Yes. regarding jetting and, and uh, clearing and televising certain sewers in the village of Broadview for the village of Broadview County Crook State of Illinois. Motion to approve. Second. Motion to deny by Trustee Little. Second. Trustee
representative from the clerk's office at a date and time designated. So that's my amended motion. Second, second to trustee. Motion. motion by trustees. Did you get that, Mr. Clerk? Did you go back to the original process with the clerk and get your own get in open uh, form? Motion by uh, Trustee Barbara and second by Trustee. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposition say aye. aye.
Simons, who had a good attorney, who uh, uh, we actually were living in Naples Council because when we have the you know, business attorney to, uh, to do some things, they have they to they refuse to follow our directions. Uh, you guys do know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to refuse to follow the directions. I'm sorry, but Mr. Council uh, refused to follow the directions of the board or the directions of two trustees acting outside of the board. Well, you refused to follow the directions. You instructed me to make changes that were not authorized by the board. They were changes that you wanted. No. And I, in my legal opinion, did not think that they were correct changes to make. If the board had directed me to make those changes, I would have made them. But as you're aware, Mr. Ely, you and Trustee Brown Marino are not the board amongst yourselves. I'm not proclaiming that I'm the board. I'm part of the board. But in your own words, you said that you were going to the union meetings making a decision on behalf of the village. Those are, those village? are trusty problems. Uh, those are trusty problems. No, Reno's I said, no, I, said, no, I, said, no, I, said I said, I said, I said, I said, I made, oh, I made oh, a yeah. legal decision. I made a legal decision. And, and let's talk about what you wanted me to do. What you wanted me to do was take away the power of the executive to make decisions with regard to union negotiations. Mark, you that's what you were right. and that's you what you were that. asking me to you do. And I wasn't and I wasn't gonna do it. I wasn't gonna do it without direction of the board. Listen, listen. Mr. Mr. Attorney, don't worry about it. Okay? Don't worry. And I'm gonna tell you why you don't worry about it. We have we have successfully negotiated union contracts since 2009. Why? Because I always end up walking in at the last minute. And I always get both sides to, to agree on certain things. We work, we find it out through the attorneys and through the, the actual labor process and through the actual negotiating process. And that's fine that you guys want to do this. I strongly urge you guys to approve this. I strongly urge you guys to hire outside counsel without Trustee McGreer having seen it, without me having seen it, without Tr Thanks. Trustee Turner having talked to him. I think it's a great idea for you guys to go on and continue to appoint your own counsel. I think that's beautiful. And and I wouldn't even have to have a more debate about it at all. You guys have interviewed him. You guys decided that it was up to you and Trustee Brown Marino to interview him, Trustee Eve. Right. Do it. If you got unless you got anything to say contradicting that, then we can just vote down. You guys want to do it? Do it. No. Let's just vote. 